But here comes the sun and whatever is falling it. And they get a lot of sunlight down there this time of year. Because you see the sun coming up heck early. UTC time. And whatever is following it also. It's basically between. It's a basically a, a asteroid belt. Port cloud. Probably her that follows the sun. And we'll zoom in on it a little bit here. As it stays above for a long time. And you can end up basically by doing this, you can end up seeing how the sun rifles out. And then back. So you get a good example of how the sun rifles. And we'll take it back. High and low. And then back low again. As you see, it had a little high arc. And as we step out, we basically we'll put the sun down, and then we'll just basically bring the sun up along with the super giants because basically as you can see on the horizon out there there's a lot of light it's not just the sun and then we should be able to step up here and then hit start and i think we're going in the right direction yeah we are so here comes the sun watch as it's going to be low to begin with it'll get a little high and then it'll get a little low clouds covering but then it's lower and then it's high again and it's got that remnant right there coming along with it. As you can see, there's even some. We'll get a zoom in on that. Step, 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 step. And now let's go ahead and zoom in on that. And we'll also see if we can get the, the shadow of the object also. It'll show it on the ground. And then it'll end up giving us a shadow on the ground. I think I can just hit star for that to come up. And it'll come along here, the shadow of that of that object that's in front of the sun. It'll end up giving us a shadow down here. There it is, and there it goes. And that's going forward, so basically, as it follows the sun. Then we get nighttime, and then you'll get the sun to come back up again. Yeah, and let's go ahead and zoom in on this stuff because it's coming up and I'll actually put it back for a second. As you can see, this the clouds cover up that dark object. So you know it's not a pixelation, everybody keeps on saying, of uh, being in front. And you get the signature on it too, out, bouncing out here in front. Let's blow it up a little bit. Just pop it up to uh, 200, I think, and then we'll keep doing the player. Uh, I'll put it down like 150. You can see it moves around. As you see, there's a cloud in front of it there. Take that back and blow that up. Let's pop up to 400 real fast. Take a look at it. There you go. So a cloud bank is just so black light. We're getting a good. Uh, study on black light because basically it's still hot enough whatever that is it puts off enough light right there that it burns through a cloud either that or it's the light that wraps from the sun wrapping around it and it still burns through I zoom this down a little bit and here we go and I can go up and take a look at that too So you know that this thing is in front of the sun.
No, your fans are about to dial it. I think I got it in forward motion. And yep, there we go. We'll pop that up in size so you can see, and then also, you know, so you know, it's either signature or boom. It's all there. Just that we get a lot longer time to look at it right now, so we'll get all kinds of good blow ups into it. You see the sun wraps around it there, and then I look what the sun did to the moon when it eclipsed. It also shot out around it, light curvature. So, pretty much spot on light curvature, light curvature, and curve around it. They even curled, curved around the moon when it did the. during the eclipse, so. Here we go. There's another nice one. We'll take another look at the flop. We've all seen that before. But basically, I'm going to go to my Zoom tool and watch it all the way across and just put it on play. We'll try it with the Zoom tool. I actually got to do that too much. So actually, I think just a mm, on that. and then we'll hit start and see if I can go ahead and catch up with it. And actually, I'm going the wrong direction with it, so now I'll be able to compensate for that. And hopefully, I'll be able to get a shot on it as we turn around. So I hit back, back. And at the start, and I think that should be bringing us around, and we can go ahead and zoom to it as it comes around. I think I've got it going the right direction. Let's check the clock. Nope, not going the right direction, so we'll hit back. Boom. And then I'll hit start. And that's not got us going. Step. Start. And there, we should be able to get it now. Actually, we just missed a dark spot going across. But anyway, we'll get up here for the sun coming up and try to follow it across the screen. There you go. That was the best thing I could do there for getting a good shot of it going across. You can play with that on the player. And we'll probably be able to get the dark spot coming by, shadow. I think it plays pretty fast. There goes the shadow. So we'll try to hit that on backwards here real fast. I'll just click it back real fast. So we'll bring the shadow back. But it's going to be going the opposite direction of what it goes by at. It follows the sun. And that's basically what it's putting that shadow on the ground later in the afternoon. And then we'll take it in the right direction that it's supposed to go. And there goes that shadow. Because it's out in front of the sun. Then check the clock, see you see. And that's it. It disappears about 17.50 UTC. So back it up and play it. Have fun with it. And here's the strobe effect that it puts off on the... This is basically just a camera, a webcam, on top of a telescope real high. 13,800 feet high up over in Hawaii. And watch the wild upper cloud action and how bright Venus is. And I'll put you back, because this is pretty much at the end. And I'll put you back over around where Venus is coming up and so forth. You'll see Venus come up. And I'll click here and slow the clock down a little bit and give you the wild action of the high cloud action. I'm going to check these high clouds come in. And then this the sun's pushing it off as it's coming up in the supergiants.
And then I think there's three pages of quakes. And then we'll get to some six point something. New Britain was just going crazy. Okay. Take this down through here and you can freeze it. Always watch on full screen. We're going to end up with three pages of action. Remember, the 20th just started because it's GMT time, so still the 19th here in the States. Central Standard Time, 8.03 p.m. in the right-hand lower corner. And with me, Gavin. Do I kill Pat? And there you go. Here's the heaviest of the New Britain area. Uh, 41 kilometers deep right there. 41 kilometers deep, 6.4. And they have two 6.4s that we know of, maybe even three, because that one there at Micronesia didn't report. And they had all kinds of after. If you scroll back, you'll see all the uh, New Britain aftershock stuff. There was a bunch of stuff. And we'll go ahead and keep going to the 19th here. Like I say, just freeze it. If anything you're interested in looking at. But it's a lot of quake action to have three pages of quake data. Here, this is your magnitude line and your depth over here. So here we go. And this should all be the 19th again. There, there we go. Basically almost three pages. And it goes in the 18th a little bit here. So lots of quake activity. Remember, if you go back even a little farther, there's plenty of, you go to that link that I, that's up there. And the magnitude of everything on the, the last three or four pages for the 18th and the 17th. It's dramatic. So... Lots go out to Chile and Guatemala. They keep on getting hammered. People sleeping outside that they can't sleep inside. They're scared to sleep inside. It's nasty. Chile, Guatemala here getting a lot of action. Also, Mexico had two quakes. Now, uh, pay attention to getting these quakes way out in the Pacific Ocean between here and Hawaii. Okay. And then also we got up Oregon. And as we move down, we got this. Way out in the ocean, quite a far, farther out, 5.3 magnitude, and then we got the two down in Mexico down here. So we got plenty of action going on. Oklahoma's had quakes, Alabama's had quakes. Uh, these are all quakes. And we'll scoot out on the map, hang on. You pay attention, Afghanistan has had a bunch of quakes. And we got that up there. 5.4 off Greenland's coast, so lots of quakes, lots of quakes. So here's some more information on a lot of quakes, recent significant quakes, and and the data is I think a little bit behind on a lot of stuff. This is the most more calm part of the day usually. And if you see, we're starting to get a little bit more activity in the calmer. New Zealand. Always watch on full screen. <clears throat> and then we'll go see, in the last one, we'll see how far the clock is behind on the data. Oregon. Alaska. And let's check out the clock, see how far we are on the clock's back. Like I'd like to call it the Montana Standard Time, so it's about right. Let's check it with the UTC clock. And we got, yeah, it's like two hours behind on time. And then we got a 4.5. As you've seen, the last one there before that was up in California. So down in Brazil, Chile, shaking again. So, and here's a good example of all the quakes lately. <clears throat> 